We now know the names of the four men who police say rocked their sky sorry a sky fari gondola so hard at the San Diego Zoo that it triggered a safety mechanism. Yeah, this happened over the weekend. More than 100 people ended up stranded for two hours. CBS 8's Kelly Hassett joins us from the San Diego Zoo with more on the new developments. Kelly. Yeah, and San Diego police released the names of those men this afternoon. Now, I think what bothered people so much about this incident is uh, these weren't kids responsible for shutting down this ride. These were four adults. They were actually in one of the buckets, uh -huh. um, and they were like, they're looking back at their, like, I think group of friends who was in the bucket behind them, and they were shaking it really hard as it came in, and it must have came off or something. So we do have some video of the four men being arrested here at the zoo on Saturday afternoon. Now they have been identified as 23 year old Jacob Bauer, 20 year old Braden Posey, 21 year old Brandon Cook and 21 year old Marquette Williams. Now, even though it might not see or might seem like this was just a harmless prank, uh, the scary thing is someone really could have been hurt. I'm sure there were children on Sky Fari when this happened. Now today the zoo didn't want to comment on camera about this, but they tell us these men acted recklessly in one of the gondolas, causing the ride to initiate it's safety precaution and stop. Uh, so all 100 plus people who were on the ride were stuck 40 feet up in the air. It took a zoo staff and emergency crews more than two hours to evacuate all of the gondolas. Everybody was checked out and fortunately uh, nobody was hurt. So back out here live. Uh, what do we know about these suspects? Uh, it appears that they're all from out of state. Uh, we do know that they've all bailed out of jail and they're uh, scheduled to be arraigned February 8th. Carlo and Heather and Kelly just uh, what, what are the exact charges that they're facing in this case? Well, we know that they were arrested on vandalism charges. Uh, what they will formally be charged with, uh, we just don't know right now. That's going to be up to the district attorney's office. It's certainly possible they could face some uh, hefty fines. Uh, as for jail time, it's a possibility, but probably unlikely.